Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how our contribute widget works. So the thing is with, with this widget you can create an image gallery like this one over here or you can create a file browser. So in this tutorial I'm only going to talk about the image gallery. There will be another tutorial that will be also on YouTube where you can see and I'll explain how the image, I mean the file browser works, alright? So first of all, this is what you get. If you're familiar with our um, upload form, this is pretty much similar, but the thing is that you can actually see all the, um, all the files that have been submitted. And you can click on the pictures, and as you see, people like, for example, if you have like a photo contest, and people can actually like submit it with this, with this form here, and you can see it, it has pagination too, Great. And what you can do is, for example, you can add a title and an optional description. Well, you have many other options too, but this is what I've chosen for our demo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to the demo file and I'm going to show you what I did over here and I'm going to go through all the options, all right? So first thing that I did is, okay, so this is the, the biggest breakpoint, right? Exactly. So I'm going to open them. I'm going to open the, the settings here. So first, you get the text labels, all right? So here you can leave it as it is in English, or you can actually customize it and write on your own, just in case if you want it in other language that's not in English, or you just want um, a success message to be not thank you, but uh, got it, received it, something like that. Okay, so that's pretty common, and here, what you have to do is, um, once you download the widget, you'll find a PHP file. It's a contribute.php. So what you have to do is you have to upload it here. You have to attach it here. Because once you drag first the widget, you will see only this part over here. So once you attach the, um, the PHP file, then you'll see the thumbnails appear. So then you can start styling it. Okay, I'm going to open this again. So here, apart from this, which is the most important, you have to attach the, the PHP file. And here they have a whole bunch of styling of things, like for example, uh, the shadow size, border radius, the separator bar. It's all about the form settings, okay? So this means is this part over here. It means that you're styling this. You can choose the title styles, the separator bar colors. So right now, I think it's zero, but just so you see, I'm going to bring it up. So you guys see what I'm talking about. See the line here? Okay, so wait, I'm going to bring it back to zero. You can choose a title, I mean the font for the title, the font for the description, and a whole bunch of, you know, colors for the background or the text. And also there's the loading spinner. Okay, so this means that uh, whenever uh, somebody, your visitors submit uh, the picture, they'll see a spinner and they'll see after that a message, so then you'll know when it's worked and when you have submitted it correctly. Okay, so now you get a spinner and you get to choose the color too. And here's where you choose if you want to moderate the submits. This is what you do in the back end. Um, it's set to, to yes, because I do want to, to moderate it, so I'm going to choose. So people are going to send it and then you can actually say yes or no if when you want to publish it. And here there's an optional URL if you want to redirect them to another to another page after they submit. All right, so these are all the styling, and remember the important part is the contribute PHP. So I'm gonna talk about now, before going to the file browser settings, I'm gonna talk about the contribute PHP. So this file, what you have to do is you have to open it with a text edit and you have to, to edit. We actually recommend to edit. Wait, it's over here. So, um, we recommend editing the username and the password and the CSV name too, okay? So if you don't, if you are going to change this, then you're going to have to change it also here. I mean, um, to access the back end, you'll be asked for a username and a password. If you leave it like this, I mean, obviously, everybody who's watching this, they can actually access it. So change it and also change the, the CSV file, all right? 
So the thing is that I'm going to leave it now as contribute. And if you want to access your back with your back end, it should be your site.com slash assets assets slash contribute dot php. If you change the CSV file name and and what you should do is also rename this. Okay. You should also so apart from the CS sorry apart from the CSV file name you should also change the the PHP file name so if you change it then you should write it here so let's say uh, I'm gonna change it to private okay so and then to access your backend you should go to your site.com slash asset slash private dot PHP all right so we do strongly recommend you guys to change these uh, these details over here okay so once that's done. I'm going to the options here. Okay, so the file browser settings here you have the pagination effect. You got three effects to choose, and here are you can choose the files per page and files per row. So right now I have six files per page and three files per three files per row. So the thing with Muse is that what happens when this gets smaller? And smaller breakpoints. So, Muse does not allow different widget settings and different breakpoints. So, what you have to do is you have to like hide the widget and drag in another one and give it another widget setting. So, the thing is that I have four breakpoints here. So, I have four different widgets placed here and I've hidden them. So, this widget over here is hidden in the rest of the of the of the breakpoints so here I have two rows with three pictures here I have two rows with two pictures here they are exactly the same but it is a little bit smaller okay let me check one thing and here I have two rows and one file per row okay so I've used different widgets to get this. Okay, so I'm going back to the to the options. Oops, sorry. Okay, so here is where you edit the files per page and files per row. What I just talked about. Um, start. Uh, you can edit the title color, description color. Down here, you can choose if you want to show them or not. It's completely optional. So. Pagination, background color, and opacity. This is the bar over here. And odd background color and even background color. So right now I've set it to zero, so there's no color, but I'm going to set it to one so you understand what this means. Okay, see how you can also add a background? So I've chosen not to, so that's why it's zero, which means it's going to be transparent. You'll see the background. But you can choose if you want the background, all right? And you can also choose the font, play with the size, the description box height in pixels too. And here, the important part is that if you want the image gallery, you should choose pictures, all right? Then, what you have to do now, you directly have, you can skip this part over here because this part is just for the file gallery. Here's about the, the, the icons, and there's no icons right now here. So what you have to edit is the picture thumbnail width and height. So you can choose right now is 275 for and on 150. And it's actually different in my different breakpoints because I've adjusted to the size over here. Okay? And so remember, we have to skip this part over here because you're not going to edit anything and just go straight to the, the picture thumbnail width and the height. And here you should click if you want to show the title or not and you want to show the description or not. In the demo, I'm, I think basically I'm showing everything. Okay, so what I showed you before, it's the demo. Okay, so all these pictures have been downloaded from Unsplash, all right? So I'm going to type my email.
and I'm going to attach the file here. You can actually write a title. It's um, working. You're going to see the Lotus Beaner up here. Okay, thank you. This means this has been submitted. Okay. So right now I'm going to go to the last page, number four. You're not going to see anything here because it's moderated. So that's how where we are going to access the panel, the back. I'm sorry, the, the back end. So we said your user and your password. And this is the back end, all right? So this is the last submission over here. So if you want this to be published, you see this column over here. Everything is set to yes, except for this one, which is no. Uh, to edit this, you have to go and click on the pencil icon and click on yes. And you can edit the title. Let's say it's, I'm going to write responsive muse. It's my working desk and I'm going to use uppercase M. And when you're done with this, you are going to click on the Save button. Okay, so this should be published now. So what we're going to do is go back here and refresh it. And you'll see the picture. Sorry, it's the first picture over here. And you'll see the picture here. And you see how we've edited. And they have a it has a title and it has the description too. You also can delete it. So you can just click here, the trash can, and it will delete, be deleted. You can download all this in a CSV file, so for this you just have to click on this download CSV and that's it. Okay, so this is how it works. Hope you like it. If you have any doubt, please use our forums, comment this video, or contact us by mail. Thank you guys for watching.